What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Beast Brex Fishing. In this video I'm going to be catching, preparing, pickling, and eating Atlantic herring. This footage is from November 30th. This was the day I was catching the herring. This was just in the prime of their run on the North Shore. They showed up a little early this year and thinned out a little early this year as well. I'm about to show you the sabiki rig I was using. It was given to me, so I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it was certainly the ticket. So here you can see we have 13 of them, which should be a good amount for the pickling. The first step is to scale them. First off, I'll be using a knife, and then I'll switch over to doing it with my fingernails. Next is to fillet them. Here we can see what they were eating. Those look like little spearing. And then here's a really little fish. I can't even tell what it is. Almost like a little bay anchovy. This here is the finished product. And next I'm going to be soaking it in a saltwater brine for 12 hours. Next, I dry and slice the fillets into one inch sections. I had just under three pounds of meat. The base of the pickling solution is going to be two cups of water and two cups of vinegar. Then I'll add three fourths of a cup of sugar and boil it. Here I'm slicing up onions for the pickling jars later. Two bay leaves. Peppercorns. And some dill. Fresh would be better, but this is all I had. The next step is just to layer the fillets and onions in the jars. Now after the jars are full and the pickling solution has cooled, I'm just ladling it into the jars. Alright, so this jar has been pickling for 12 days now. I was able to eat it after 3 days and no more than 3 weeks, but I decided to do 12 days, which is right in between, to get the best results. Alright. Smells like, like vinegar. You really smell the dill. It definitely looks a little bit whiter than the herring in the deli, but we'll see how the tastes compared to it. Put it on a stoned wheat then. And get a little piece of onion. It's pretty good. Tastes about the same as the stuff in the deli. Maybe a little bit fresher. The bones are completely dissolved. I don't taste any bones and I don't see any of the bones in the fillets themselves. It's kind of amazing how just vinegar can basically melt away the bones and dissolve them into nothing. That's pretty much what it looks like. Not the most appetizing fish dish I've ever seen, but it doesn't taste bad. 
Herring has very low mercury levels because it's so low on the food chain. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on future content. I'll see you guys next time.